been around for a long time is in the middle of one of its busiest holiday seasons ever. It sees candies and it does at least half of its yearly business between September and December. KPX 5's Elizabeth Cook takes us inside the company's factory in South San Francisco to show us the secret, the secret to see's lasting success. Isn't the maple pecan? Maybe it's the smell when you walk in the door. Every single family dinner had an open box of C's. So as long as I've been a little girl, we've eaten C's candy. <laughs> Those signature flavors. Scotch kisses, chocolate cherries, the dark butter chews are really good. I'm handing out a delicious milk chocolate with pecans. Or that free sample. Walking into that door knowing that you're going to get that little free sample and if not more. <laughs> you step in her credit. For loyal customers like Sandra Madrid, it just isn't the holidays without C's. Yeah, it's part of our family tradition. I wouldn't go to another candy shop. And right now, it's crunch time. We do half to three quarters of our business in, in, the, in the September to December period. The holidays are the busiest time for the boxed candy business. C's will go from 1,800 employees to 5,000 company-wide during the holidays, and they will produce and sell about 13 million pounds of candy in that two to four month period. Bob McIntyre is the production manager at the factory in South San Francisco. Because there's so much riding on this, we, we have to get it right the first time. So a lot of preparation goes into this Christmas season. And so we have to get it right or because there's no second chance to make that up. I wish you could smell what I'm smelling right now. These pieces of peanut crunch are about to go through their second coating of milk chocolate. This factory alone produces close to 80,000 pounds of candy a day. Almost every piece of C's candy has been handcrafted in some way since 1921. The candy makers, they learn how to make candy but we call it a craft because it's not only just following recipes and procedures, but the techniques in making the candy. Seas candy really prides itself in keeping with the traditions of how they were done back in 1921. These ladies will hand roll about 2,000 of these walnut rolls every single day. Is the old fashioned way of doing it. Uh, but it's the way it sees has always done it. And we just don't see a, a real need to change that. Brad Kinsler has been CEO of Seas since 2005. His boss, Warren Buffett of Berkshire Hathaway. The iconic investment group bought the family owned candy company back in 1972 for $25 million. Today, its annual gross is over $400 million. Buffett says it's one of the best investments he's ever made. You don't get a business like this that comes up for sale that often, and, and uh, they, they certainly saw the value in it, and I think it's uh, probably exceeded their expectations. They have a website, but it's surprisingly only 10% of their sales. As most brick and mortar stores struggle to break even, C's is opening more locations. Cho to me is about. They're also not the only game in town. Local chocolatiers like Cho and Dandelion have tapped into a more culinary savvy consumer base with creative packaging and marketing campaigns, and they're charging a premium. Do you ever feel the pressure of having to compete with what? the other brand names are doing? We are the uh, highest volume box chocolate, uh, premium chocolate company in the country. Um, our shops sell a tremendous amount of product, more than any other box chocolate company. And so we tend not to spend that much time or effort in trying to assess what the competitors are doing. Um, we think they probably spend a lot of time trying to figure out what we do. The Seas factory may be only a couple of miles from Silicon Valley, the epicenter for new business and innovation. But one of the reasons they believe this nearly 100-year-old company has remained profitable is because they refuse to leave out the one ingredient most companies these days don't care about, customer service. Number one, we focus on the customer. We want to, them to have the very best experience when they come into our stores. And we want, want to know that, that they're important to us. Really listening to a customer, their needs, their wants, what they can afford. So that gives me the, the ability to show what I can offer them at Seas Candies. In South San Francisco, Elizabeth Cook, 
KPIX 5. Now, these candies are also completely preservative free with a shelf life anywhere from one week to three months, depending on the candy. So that means all of the candy you buy in the next couple of months was made in just the last few weeks.